On Indonesian islands ravaged by a tsunami, the death toll continued to mount Thursday as more corpses were wrapped in body bags or buried by family members or neighbors. Could the victims have been saved by a multi-million dollar warning system alerting people to the fact that a giant wave was coming following a massive earthquake? One official on the project said the system was working, but the quake's epicenter was too close to issue an effective warning before the tsunami hit. So hundreds were killed and dealing with the bodies was continuing to be a top priority. Rio was saying farewell to his grandfather, whose corpse he'd discovered under some palm trees. When I come here, I just feel... Yeah, it's my grandfather. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? <laughs> you know, everybody here is sad, you know. Another top priority was getting food for survivors to eat and tarps to shelter them from the rain. Nearby on South Pagai Island, Indonesian President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono was touring devastated areas, walking through the places where houses had been swept away. He said he'd oppose rebuilding them in areas so vulnerable to natural disasters. Across the country, hundreds of people had turned out for the funeral of the man who considered himself to be the spiritual caretaker of Mount Merapi, the volcano that killed dozens when it erupted this week. The 83-year-old Marie John had refused to budge when Merapi began belching superheated gases and ash. More than a dozen people stayed and perished with him. His rigid body had been found Wednesday, prostrate on the ground in typical Islamic prayer position. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.